from you for you. Um, our free woman on Twitter tweeted yesterday that our children, their children, and their children's children will forever be made to feel that they don't belong here, and that's why she supports One Day with us. Okay, our next speaker is also someone who organized this rally today. With us. And it's Katya Griffin from One Day With Us. Hi. Hello everyone, thank you very much for coming. My name is Katya Griffin, I am a, a Russian and German citizen. I've been in the UK for 15 years. I'm married to a Brit, I've got British children. So this is very personal for me. Um, for me and like many others in my position, the last two years have been marked by a sense of loss. Both the impeding loss of my rights but also a loss of the sense of belonging or feeling that this is my home. Um, we've been scapegoated by the media and the politicians on both sides of the political divide. We've been blamed for the society's ills that we did not cause. Um, our loyalty is constantly questioned. So I stand here as a disenfranchised citizen of nowhere. When I reflect on what's been the worst thing over the last two years, it's been the deafening silence of many of my British friends and colleagues. The apathy and the casual dismissal of my concerns, oh, you'll be fine. Um, I would like to thank you today for coming and expressing your support. It really means a lot. Um, I would also like you to lose that famous British reserve and to stand up with your migrant colleagues and friends. Ask them how, you're, how they're feeling. Um, a lot of us are feeling vulnerable at the moment and you need, we need you to stand by, by our side. Working for one day without us also had made me realize how oblivious I have been to the various issues facing other migrant groups. Whether it's the indefinite immigration detention whether it's the destitution faced by the refugees coming to this country, the cruel Home Office ruling imposing an income threshold on the spouses of migrants, of Brits coming here. So there are 15,000 British children growing up without one of their parents. And that's all because of the government, the cruel government policy. It's deliberate, it's ideologically driven, and we must oppose it. There's also racism and xenophobia faced by the second and third generation of migrants here uh, every day. Um, people who know no other home other than the UK. And at times like this, the different groups of migrant, migrants must not allow themselves to be pitted against each other. Um, we must fight together against the injustices that we all face. Um, and for a tolerant and diverse society. I'm proud to be a migrant and I'm proud to stand with migrants. Thank you. Thank you, Katia. Uh, next speaker is Jill Lambert, who's actually okay. a 